Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Let's review four cases in nephrology. Patient presents to you with hypertension, nephrotic syndrome, renal insufficiency, and microhematuria, as well as sclerotic changes in the juxtaglomerular nephron. Now, what is your diagnosis? Is it minimal change disease, focal segmental sclerosis, membranal proliferative glomerular nephritis, or is it membranous nephropathy? The answer here is going to be focal segmental sclerosis. Let's review another case. Mild hypertension, nephrotic syndrome, microhematuria, venous thrombosis, especially renal vein thrombosis, thickened glomerular basement membrane with immunoglobulin deposition. What is your diagnosis here? Well, this is a classic case of membranous nephropathy. Let's review another case. Normal blood pressure, patient has anasarca, severe nephrotic syndrome, normal light microscopy, fusion of the foot processes on electron micrography. What is your diagnosis? This is a classic case of minimal change disease. Let's review one final case. Hypertension, nephrotic syndrome, mild renal insufficiency, RBC cast in urine, depressed third component of complement C3, dense deposits on electron microscopy. Again, this is a classic case of membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis. So those were four cases in nephrology that are pretty high yield uh, that you're likely to see. Now let's just review some of the common aspects of those diseases. Keep in mind that minimal change disease is the most commonly seen in children. Um, hypertension or renal failure is rare and generally the condition is responsive to corticosteroid therapy. Focal segmental sclerosis is common in African Americans frequently progressing to end-stage renal disease and is relatively refractory to therapy. Now membranous nephropathy is the commonest cause of idiopathic nephrotic syndrome in adults. One-third of cases improve spontaneously and one-third remain stable and one-third progress to end-stage renal disease if untreated. The condition is fairly responsive to corticosteroids or cytotoxic therapy. And finally, membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis is a rare form of idiopathic nephrotic syndrome, but the depressed C3 due to the antibody um, is not pathognomonic, but something that you should look into. So those were some of the key high yield points that you want to remember for um, nephrotic syndrome and reviewing those for high yield nephrology. Visit comlexflashcards.com for additional resources and good luck in your preparation.